Good morning, everyone, or good evening, wherever you are. I am, I, <laughs> okay, this is already going to start off like a mess, but I was going to, originally going to, yeah, I can't even talk, sorry. I was originally going to pull um, some oracles, some oracle cards, and have them laid out, uh, but I immediately, as I lit my candle and did my prayer, oops, excuse me, did my prayer, I was already starting to get some stuff, so let's just go over this real quick, because there was a little bit that I got here, um, let me see, you know what, let, first of all, first of all, let me just light some Palo Santo, we're going to cleanse this space, let's just take a deep breath right now, really focus on your energy, where is your energy right now? How are you feeling? How are things going? Let's see. 111. 111. That might be significant. Alright, deep breath. If you want to place your hand on your heart or on your right above your navel, I find that that helps enemies sometimes. Just really take a deep breath here. Let's just um, let this Palo Santo burn down over here in my bowl area. We're just going to let that burn for a minute. And I just want to touch on what I was picking up already. Well, first of all, let me just say I hope you're having a fantastic morning or evening wherever you are. I hope you are staying very blessed and I hope there's lots of healing going on wherever you are. Uh, let's just jump into this now. So immediately I was getting um, the lyric, if I lay here, if I just lay here. And it was kind of making me feel a little bit lonely. And I was like, I think that's Snow Patrol chasing cars. Um, so I'm wondering if some of you might be experiencing some loneliness or maybe even having some trouble with the people around you being loyal. Because I also got the image um, I did have my neighbors, <laughs> my neighbor's dog was barking and it just makes me think of protection, right? They're guarding the house, they're, they're protecting the loved ones and, but their dog is like, I also got the image. So their dog is a complete softy, very big dog, but very big softy. So I also, I got the image of like a beware of dog sign, but like you may have a dog who is maybe big or, or an animal who maybe looks threatening but is actually like a huge softy or maybe this can maybe this is describing you like maybe you come off or, or people have told you that you can come off as guarded or you can come off as mm, maybe too maybe mm, I'm, I'm trying to think of the word maybe like straight face but like on the inside like maybe you don't maybe it's hard to express your deepest emotions i don't know where this hold on i'm, I'm getting a little confused <laughs> you know what let, let's actually because i was also just getting like protection like guarding your space and i'm wondering if now this is even talking about like people around you maybe to be cautious of the people around you maybe guarding or, or just putting, implementing a little bit more protection. I also was picking up guitar, so I'm wondering if like you play guitar, or maybe you have an interest in guitar, in guitar, or you have, um, or maybe you were you you're listening to guitar, and you like instrumental music, or that is how you meditate somehow. I'm not sure how that kind of ties in. I was also when I, I was trying to write down like what exactly was it that I wanted to pull the cards for. Um, I also got a cardinal that showed up. I have a little bird stand over here and a little cardinal. Cardinal, he just was, just was eating his little seeds over there. Very cute. Uh, so you might have a lot of bird messengers or maybe spirit connects with you through birds or you get messages through birds. Um, let me see if there's anything else I'm picking up on. I did kind of pick up on a, yeah, I mean, confirmation right now was 444 which is my number for like ancestor. I was picking up like almost an energy of like a past loved one. But I don't know where that's coming from. If, if 
take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But that was what was coming forward. It felt almost like a dual energy or two energy or or maybe like a Gemini or something. I don't know. Um, we're going to look more into that. So hopefully you got what you needed from this, if it helped at all. I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> but let's actually just jump into it. So we're going to get, where are you at right now? Where are you at right now? Let's do the Witch's Tarot. We're going to do Witch's Tarot. Oh my goodness. I keep bumping this. I'm so sorry. Oh boy. Okay. So where's your energy at right now? And I know you're focusing, hopefully you were focusing a little bit on it as we were burning the Palo Santo. But let's see, where are you at right now? Where are these lovely energies at right now? Okay, so we have three of pentacles. Okay, so there's a lot of focused energy right now you there you may be going to school you may be studying something you may mm, school might be for a small few of you because i'm getting more like this is like an independent study this is a uh, something that you've possibly taken up on your own this is something maybe you're searching answers for so maybe you're just in a state right now an energy right now of just very focused energy learning something there's something there's like some type of type of growth that you're ooh, oh oh I wasn't going to get another card right now but the ten of swords popped out I'm wondering if this is your hmm okay 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 this to me Why am I getting like mobile? Okay, so it's like almost like, yeah, I'm getting like protection. Like you need to do some cleansing because I feel like there's a state where you're, maybe you're even overworking yourself to a point where you literally feel like you're about to collapse and uh, you might just be completely done with the situation. I'm wondering if this has to do with some type of project at work or this has to do with some type of, of, Study you're on. Oh, hello, aunt. I need you to skedaddle. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm feeling like this is some type of, it, mm, this is like a chronic type of stress that you're dealing with. This is something that's hanging over your head. This is something that's really keeping you up. And maybe something that you you're ready to let go of though because 10 is a completion right and 10 of swords this is like you're ready to mm, it, it's an ending right it's a sudden ending it's a sudden loss i wonder if you even if this is true i wonder if you even lost a job or something like that or maybe you dropped out of a class or maybe you lessened some classes or something and you're feeling a bit a bit lonely or confused or oh hello that bird was quite loud <laughs> yeah I really feel like birds communicate you you get messages from spirit through through birds or birds might be a symbol of freedom to you I'm getting like spreading your wings and fly. I'm getting also the notebook when, um, oh my God, what was her name? Rachel McAdams character, um, Allie. And she says that she wants to be a bird. So maybe you might also just be struggling with some type of freedom. This, you know, this might even be a feeling stuck at, at, at work. I mean, that's very general, though, because I feel like a very large majority majority of people feel stuck at work. So I'm going to need Spirit to give me a little more than that. <laughs> Let me see. You know, we're. I just feel like you're just not in a really good place right now. That makes me sad. Like, I really feel like you're struggling. Like, there's a lot. I mean, look at look at them. They're really just like. They're exhausted. 
they're exhausted, but they're focused, right? They're still putting in the work. There's a lot going on here. Staying up late, like the candles um, burning down. I don't know why, but like the cat sitting there made me think of my own cat. Like maybe even you working late where you're... <laughs> I'm getting, like, the image of your pets waiting by a bowl. Like, I'm thinking of my own cat when she's, like, disgruntled that I haven't fed her. Like, maybe you're just, like, so focused on a project or work that you're driving yourself to a point of, like, actual exhaustion. But, like, you need to give yourself a break because it, I mean, I'm, I'm getting, like, two things where it's, like, you need to give yourself a break. But also this could be, like, a sudden loss. Like, something has ended for you quite abruptly and you're in a state now where you're searching for something maybe this is like searching for a job I don't know I'm sorry if this doesn't make sense and I'm I'm maybe just like rambling but I feel like spirit's kind of like rapidly giving me some messages right now I'm also feeling like you're also just like very intuitive like we have the owl here we also have the black cat I mean there's a you might be digging for answers or working on 1111 shadow work There might be some, man, I'm even, like, even drawn to this where the blade is, like, in their head. I wonder if you even get, like, really bad migraine. Or if they're, this is, like, talking about, like, a chronic, like, you have, like, there's some type of, of course, I'm not a doctor, okay? Like, don't use tarot in place of, of medical advice or love advice. Like, in terms of, it should be a tool, right? This shouldn't be your go-all, be-all. For making decisions okay this is an intuitive tool please pick up what resonates I'm gonna stop repeating that <laughs> but I wonder if this is also like a third party because I don't know I thought of the three and it made me think of maybe there's something some mm, oh my gosh I'm so sorry I wonder if there's been a something of infidelity that has left you in a state of like an abrupt ending to a relationship you're there's a lot of um trying to figure out what to do next there's a lot of focus on maybe there's a kid involved maybe you have a child involved and you're just like really trying to focus on how you're going to get these bills paid now that you're by yourself i don't know this is a lot coming through i'm sorry <laughs> sorry if this doesn't make sense hopefully this doesn't make uh next thing we're going to do is we're going to look for physical signs to look out for i i already said the birds which I think very strongly is something to look out for. Um, but what else is it that spirit wants you to look out for? Physical signs that you need to know for this coming month. Like what is some physical signs to look out for for this coming month? And this is a timeless reading. I know this is the 1st of April right now in 2023. But this can be um, this can be timeless, right? Whenever you find this video. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, I don't know, I was drawn to accidentally, well, I mean, not accidentally, but I placed this face up instead of face down, like I meant to, and it is the hermit. So there's a lot of introspection going on right now. There's a lot of soul searching that you're doing. There's a lot that maybe you're confronting about yourself or your situation that you maybe had willful, the I can't talk, willful oh my gosh, willfully ignored or maybe didn't, maybe you were love blind or there was some type of, I don't want to say ignorance, but that's like the word that's coming to mind. I'm not trying to be like rude or anything, but like maybe there was some type of situation that you didn't want to see, right? Or you didn't want to look directly at because it was a little painful, a little too painful, a little too hard, right? Which understandable, like it, it, it's hard when something I feel like this is something that you really cared about too or something that affected you deeply or something that had very close meaning to you or significant value to you and it's left you in a state of like loss confusion loneliness you're feeling very isolated right now and there's a lot of, of like I said introspection going on there's a lot of self um, discovery happening right now and I, I feel like this also ties back in with the the ten of swords like this was an abrupt ending this was something that i i want to say that you didn't see coming but i feel like you did like maybe 
it was something that you knew was coming, but like you were convincing yourself, no, this is like, no, it's not this. Like, no, it's not this. Like, it can't be this. But like deep down, you knew that this was, this was actually very toxic for you and needed to be, it was something that was removed. It was something that maybe even you prayed for, not realizing or not it, it, prayer, ritual, spell, whatever. But it was something like maybe you're trying to do, you're trying to bring in more positivity or not even positivity, but more. It, mm, I'm, I'm getting the image because, okay, I'm just going to do an example. I, I have very specific prayers, very specific things I'll say for protection or for trying to get rid of things that God hasn't placed in my life, right? So I feel like maybe you have your own type of ritual or prayer or spell work that you've done where you've tried to eliminate the things in your life that maybe were draining energy from you or were toxic to you, but maybe you didn't realize that some of the things that God or the universe or however it resonates, whatever applies to you, whatever you, or yourself even, you know, this was something that was taken out and ejected, right? Like it was something that wasn't fit for you and it wasn't leading you to a good place. And it was actually just kind of pulling you back. So I feel now what is like a sign to look out for, what this physical sign to look out for now is that there is going to be consistency coming into your life. There's going to be this, I mean, look here, there's, there's, it almost feels like a, you have this very strong will. I mean, I'm even getting like elk in the back. It, this is giving me like Artemis vibes. I've been talking to one of my friends about um, Apollo and Artemis, so that might have some significance. Um, I feel like there's an offer here also. There might be some type of I wonder if this ties into like the project you're working on over here, but there's something that you're building, something that is, I mean, this horse is in a standstill, right? So this might be a slow moving, something that feels slow moving. I even got like the word molasses, like maybe this is something that feels that it's taking a very long time, but I feel like you're in a very strong willed type of you're moving towards a strong will type of energy. Like right here, you're in a, in a burned out, stressed out situation. But maybe this is also telling you to kind of slow down a little bit and evaluate where you want to put your focus on. Because mm. I'm wondering here if maybe you're even starting to drift a little bit because of your, I'm getting also like fatigue because of like, even your like headaches again, I'm getting headaches. You might really suffer from some migraines. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry if you do like that. Mm. I know um, some of my close loved ones have, they get very bad migraines like consistently. So I, that's kind of what I'm picking up here. And if you do, I am so sorry because that I, that I know that that is like very painful and that might just be that might even be affecting your work or making you feel like you're in a standstill, right? I wonder if the, because I'm trying to figure out if this, if the work is causing the headaches, if you're getting burned out, or I wonder if this might be two messages because I'm also getting like, there's a standstill because there's a lack of protection, maybe a lack of focus on your health and your, I mean, that kind of would be just similar, right? And it's kind of blocking you from this, this new, like, what is it that I'm getting with this though? Because to me, like this horse is in a standstill, but also oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this is telling you to get, okay, I, I'm not trying to be mean, okay, but I'm literally, I got the sound, like, the sound in my head of touch grass. You might need to get out a little bit more, or maybe some signs to look out for is, 
some physical signs to look out for really might just be nature. I mean, elk in itself, that might be one of your spirit animals. So there might be, you might be needing to get in touch with nature more or maybe even, I wonder if you have horses. Because I'm feeling like a lot of like animal energy around you. You might be very, very in tune with animals. You might have horses, you might have dogs, you might have cats. I wonder if you have like a lot of land. Or if the land around you has some type of... I wonder if you even like tried to, to research the land around you. Or I'm also getting like cemeteries. If you Maybe you need to visit a cemetery or if you, you drive past the cemetery, maybe look out for some signs. Um... Yeah, because, I mean, he's they're sitting there, right? Like, their shield is up, eyes focused upward. They're looking towards something with this pentacle in their hand, a single pentacle in their hand. I think it's... it's... Oh, oh, I'm dropping shit over here. I think this is a sign to kind of keep a lookout for... Any type of animal that kind of speaks to you, because I feel like this is very nature based. I feel like I, I'm telling you, I got the, <laughs> I got the sound of like touch grass. I don't know. You may be really holed up in your home, or maybe even you maybe need to open some windows up in your house to get some type of. I feel like maybe even seeing physical signs, like maybe open your windows up, see, look outside, see some birds, see some. I don't know. I'm feeling like you're just very disconnected right now, 222. Disconnected from nature. And I'm feeling like that's where you get a lot of your signs from, a lot of messages, or that's maybe how spirit kind of communicates to you. Um, mostly. I mean, I feel like you do do divination. Or you look up divination. I mean, obviously, I mean, if you're watching this video <laughs> you look up divination tools but in a sense in more of a sense of I feel like there's a guidance towards self in terms of intuition I feel like this is guidance towards more of yourself like you need to start looking um I don't know why I got inward and outward because that obviously does not make any sense that might be a dual message but i'm just getting the image of someone like constantly i'm wondering if you're going through a breakup and you're like looking through a lot of um tarot readings to try to find an answer try to kind of cure some type of not cure but try to fill some type of um I was going to say loneliness, but like, I feel like that sounds so harsh, but I'm not, I'm really not trying to be harsh and I'm not trying to be, I, I don't know, the, I can't think of the words. Can you please help me articulate this because I'm having a little bit of trouble. I feel like there needs to be, you're, I, there's like a neglect here towards your own decision making it feels like I don't know what this is or maybe there's yeah there's some type of blockage so you know we're just going to jump into what is it that your guides want you to know for this next month I know that we said physical signs but what is it exactly that they want you to know for the next 30 days or 31 days whatever month it is as you're watching this Or, you know, 28th of February. <laughs> but what is it that spirit wants you to know? Oh my gosh. Okay, you got the world. Yeah, you are com coming to a completion of something. There is a cycle that you're finished. And again, we have the elk again. Yeah, elk is definitely your spirit animal, one of your spirit animals. I feel like maybe even you need to, if you're doing a lot of introspection, again, I was getting the, when I'm, when I'm thinking about the hermit, I'm getting back to, Maybe even you're doing a lot of 
meditate. I'm getting more a, I'm not getting like, sorry. Oh my gosh. I can't even, I can't even speak right now, but I was going to say you're, there might be some guy like guided meditation, but I feel like I'm projecting a little on that because I do a lot of guided meditation. So I don't, ah, here, can you please be clear on this? If you do type, if you do introspective work, like any type of meditation to connect with type of animal spirit, I don't know if you hear that dog barking. <laughs> That's a different neighbor's dog. Um, you sound like a big boy too. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> You know, that might have some significance. I'm taking, just taking in, maybe you just need to like sit down and like take in nature. Cause like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been told by my, my co workers, and this is something I've also self proclaimed, okay? And I own it proudly. But I really feel like I'm in a abuelita, uh, abuelita era, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am. <laughs> I really just be sitting sometimes out here and maybe that is a, I guess that would be a form of meditation, like just kind of enjoying the sounds of nature. And I know that that can be a privilege, like not everyone has the time or the luxury to just sit back and take some time to like enjoy nature. But I feel like we really can, like if you open your window if you, there's little things we can do, right? Because this is something that I had to learn as well. I really, really was, okay, we're going to get like a little personal right now. Last year, I went through a really huge change. Physically, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. And before then, it was, I never it was like a complete shift. I I never really stopped to like appreciate the things around me. I was so on the go. I had a um a leadership position at my job. I was, you know, it it was a very high pace. I lived a very very high pace, very stressful, very very stressful life. And it was to a point, I mean, I literally passed out at work like <laughs> I, I literally hit the ground, my head, and then my head hit the ground. Bam! You know, like that, that was the type of, that's the type of energy I'm getting in. So you might be overworking to yourself to a point where you are physically making yourself sick. And I think your spirit guides want you to know that this is coming to an end or this needs to come to an end because you need to, there needs to be some type of healing. There needs to be, I feel like there's a blockage towards some type of guidance you're receiving. And again, I'm like, I, I hear, I think strength. I feel like you're also in a regal position. And, and I mean that in a sense of like the way you carry yourself, there is a strength within you, even in this, this state of like, even if you're dealing with migraines, even if you're dealing with some type of health issue, even if you're dealing with some type of mental issue, even if you're dealing with some type of physical issue that's going on. Um, emotionally right around you some type of you know a, a life event like life happens shit happens and sometimes it's it's great to say yeah let's take some time to rest and everything but sometimes we don't have that luxury sometimes you really have to keep pushing through even if, if it feels like you're not moving forward and I know that doesn't make sense but it really can feel like that if we feel like we're put like I'm getting the image again of like molasses. Like if you have like one foot, you're trying to like lift it and move it forward, but you're stuck in this place. You're stuck in this, this, I don't know. It's like, it, it, it really feels like you're just trying to move out of like this very sticky situation. And that's what it feels like. You're in a sticky situation, but I feel like there's, I even feel like the spirit of nature reaching out to you. Like, mother Gaia, mother earth, like there's a, there's a disconnect that you feel from nature. And I really feel like the guides are trying to communicate to you through it. There needs to be some time. I mean, yeah, get a plant, babe, like get a plant, 
in your room, even if you have, even if you say that you do not have a green thumb, okay, like, listen to me, I, I used to, years ago, I tried to um, grow a lot of things, and I remember even my ex-boyfriend at the time had told me, like, would tease me a lot, because, like, I just could not get anything to grow, I really could not, like, I would get so excited for, like, a tiny little sprout, but it would die immediately, and now I have, I mean, I'm by no means, any expert okay I'm still like a very baby beginner gardener but I'm, I'm really starting to learn and I've, I've really started to kind of take root even if it's a bad day where I'm feeling like a flare-up sometimes I really will just kind of go outside if I'm able to sometimes I'm really not able to get out of bed but I do have a plant next to um, my bed and sometimes I really will just just water it or spray some water on it just connect with it touch touch it I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not even kidding you. Like I'm getting like touch grass, touch a leaf. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's just some type of disconnect and spirit really wants you to get in touch with it. And I know the world in tarot, it means, um, it's like a, a, a completion, right? Like the fool has completed his journey, their journey. There's been a huge, huge life journey. This also makes me think of like maturity. You are actually like, it's, it's, there's an accomplishment that you've had there's some type of success that you've had um some type of i don't i hope this is the right word accolade accolade i don't know what accolades means i'm gonna have to google that but i feel like that's that's i feel like that's the word but i feel like you have this type of presence about you this type of leadership role you might even be like a supervisor or manager or something i don't know you might be like an entrepreneur or something I don't know I, I take it how it resonates because earlier I know I said that this might be a loss of a job but like right now I'm also getting something different okay so <laughs> I'm just trying to speak how spirit is is sending this message um yeah I mean I, I this is if we look at it in in a sense of storytelling also it's like this elk is trying to bring you towards this completion. It's like spirit's trying to guide you towards this completion. It's trying to help you out of this fog that you're in, out of this, this, mm, I don't, uh, hmm, out of this state of mind even, or out of this state of, there needs to be a shift in perspective. There needs to be, yeah, there needs to be a shift. I don't, know what this is hold on you know we're gonna get the mindful messages cards these ones i will put um honestly i i think i'll just list i'll try to do a, a link for um literally all the decks i have in all my description boxes because i am forgetful sometimes okay let me focus on a question let me focus real quick what do your guides want you to know for the next month for the next 30 days okay two came out unique lives and water my dreams okay see this this one came out first excuse my nails they're actually awful three 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 that might have some significance okay You might also get messages through music. Um, let me see. I respect everyone's individual decisions and way of life. We are each on our own unique journeys, and my way isn't the only way. My job is not to change others, but to simply love them. Water my dreams. All I desire is on its way to me, but like a seed, my dreams too must be watered. My belief and determination is what makes them grow. I will be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at a perfect time. Yeah, I feel like maybe this is you. There might be, there might have been something that you just really were having a hard time coming to terms with. A decision that was made that you just really didn't want to I mean, again, I'm, I'm getting brought back to a separation. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be, take it how, how it applies. But maybe there was a separation from somebody, from something. Um, but I feel like this is, 
it's almost like you're coming to terms with the fact that people change either maybe people grow together or they grow apart and I feel like this is something that maybe you're learning or that you already knew but are just it's harder it's easier said than done right like it's easy to say all these things and and but once you experience them it's it's really hard it's really tough but i feel like this is something that you really again i'm drawn back to when i when you ask for something to be taken out of your life so that you can grow so that you can prosper so that the seeds that you've planted can can you can get abundance from it right that there will be growth. So I feel like this, whatever it was that was removed from you, from your life that you feel has kept you in this, that was removed very suddenly, I feel like this is something that um, is actually, is actually for your growth, is actually, is, I, and I hate saying that because I don't, I don't like saying like, oh, you know, it's this bad thing happened, but good is going to come from it because it doesn't erase the fact that it's still like it still fucking sucks and it still hurts and it's still painful you know what I mean but I feel like spirit wants you to know that despite all of that like please know that there's there's sprouts here like I know I said I feel like I've said sprouts like multiple times throughout this video but like I feel like that's me even what you are like there's like a baby sprout right there's like a new cycle you're entering Man, I feel like this ties again to the last collective reading I've done in some ways. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I really have no clue because I really feel like I'm, um, I don't make sense. <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry. Oh my gosh. I was thinking about this, going once, going twice, second chances. I'm wondering if this is something that you're debating. Like if this is a person, if you're debating on giving them second chance. But message from a loved one. Okay, this is what I was picking up. So I'm wondering what this, let's let's see what this is then because I'm wondering if this is your ancestors, ancestors, loved ones from collective watching this video. Please let us know in terms of second chance or this going once, going twice that I picked up earlier. What is this that you want collective to know? What is this that you want them to know? Oh my gosh, you got the Knight of Pentacles again. Okay, so... This is definitely looking to me like an offer of maybe this is like a this is really confusing me because to me it was coming off more of like oh my god wait 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 okay because this is after tarot so you know what? The spirit's going to give me a little story right here. <laughs> okay, so we have the elk in the back here. In this one, we have, what is this, two ox and another person. So there's movement now. There's movement. In this one, his arms up, there's an offer, right? There's an offer. So... Man, even the going once, going twice. I'm wondering if this is someone who's going to try to come back. I'm wondering if this is someone who's going to try to come back. But Spirit, what, what, how do we feel about this? <laughs> is this a good thing or a bad thing? What do you want us to know out of this situation, Spirit? Of this Knight of Pentacles, this offer. I know that right now Collective is in a state of focused energy and they're moving towards something but what is it i i feel like this is also saying like be consistent in your decision though because nine of pentacles is also about consistency right um let's see nine of cups didn't i get this on the last collective reading too i feel like i did Because this is making me think, I mean, this is like, you're about to, th this is, is the, is reaping the harvest the right, I feel like that's not the right phrase. 
you're about to um it's almost like what you what you put effort in what you worked for there's about to be fulfillment you're about to enjoy the fruits of your labor that you're about to enjoy all the hard work you've been putting in is about to be paid off you're about to eat okay and maybe it feels like you like the sacrifice was kind of too big oh my god and like ugh. sorry i'm trying to like lean over this chair and my body is like bitch what are you doing we can't move like that <laughs> Okay, well, you literally had the Ace of Pentacles, like, shoot out of the deck. So, I'm wondering if this is a new job. Like, maybe you had to, maybe there was a separation, a divorce. I really feel like this ties into my last couple readings for maybe a few of you if you've clicked on this video. But there's a separation, and there's a new offer. The Scarab Beetle, I think, also represents... Oh man, I have to double check. But I think it's death and renewal or like luck. I'm going to have to really double check on that. But there's a new path for you. There's a whole new door here opening for you. There's a whole new... And again, this makes me think of nature. Like there's there's an invitation for you to connect with nature. And I feel like there needs to be a little bit more connection there. Um, even if you do like grounding work for like five minutes, two minutes, a day when you wake up even if you just put your feet flat on the floor if you're at bed like or if you put like your um any type of contact right i feel like if you just focus and just envision um like tree like roots like your roots connecting with you and just envision like the energy cycling through like gratitude right also envision yourself like giving like respect love to the earth and for the energy that it gives back. Um, uh, sorry, I don't know. I, I'm like blanking for a second right now. What were we asking? I was just really getting into the tree talk right now. <laughs> um, spirit, help me focus back. Bring me back in. Oh, my Palo Santo stopped burning. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to remedy that. Oh my gosh, I'm... I'm so sorry this this I I hope I don't give you a headache from moving this flipping camera everywhere. I feel like we need a little bit more palo santo. I feel like there's some energies around you that's like trying to distract you. They're trying to they're trying to get you off your game, dude. But we're not having that, okay? We're not having that because we're working towards Ace of Pentacles, there's an offer coming towards you. I feel like this is something that you turned away from, though. You don't want to... It Again, I feel like this is something that you really haven't... That maybe you didn't want to see, or maybe you still feel like there's a... What is he allowing me to tell you? Oh my gosh. Bottom of the deck, death. Yeah, there's something that you definitely left behind. There's something you definitely... <sighs> I'm also getting... I wonder if this is... Because when I ask, like, from a loved one, this literally says that. So I'm wondering if this, for a very select few of you, which I really... I hope not. And if it, if it is true, I'm actually so very sorry. If someone has recently passed, and maybe this is something that you're actually so very hard struggling with. Wow, my grammar is <laughs> top notch today. But um, I'm wondering if this is something that, or if your spirit guide is a loved one who has passed a while back. I don't know. I feel like one of your guides, though, is a loved one that's near you. Because I know in tarot, death doesn't, is, is a cycle, it's a renewal. But for just specifically right now when i asked that question i really felt like it was i feel like one of your guides that's trying to communicate with you is someone who has passed or that you like a loved one 
And if you don't have anyone that's a loved one that's passed, I feel like this might be ancestor or ancestral because I feel like it's a blood connection or a very strong familial connection. Again, it doesn't have to be like, um, this might be like spiritual family connection, but it, for majority, I feel like this is a loved one. And I feel like they're letting you know that what you, what you think right now, I feel like I'm getting the word like transmute, but like the energy, like you're about to shift, completely change your life. There's going to be a transmutation, there's a whole transformation happening here. And with this renewal, with this rebirth is about to be luck. There's about to be like financial gain. I mean, look at this, literally pinnacle, all three here. So I feel like there's maybe even collaborative effort that you've done. Maybe there's um, some type of, I wonder if this is like some type of like inheritance or some type of um, project you're working towards that you're maybe even worried about that won't go well. But I feel like spirit is telling you your loved ones your ancestors spirit guides angels are letting you know that this is actually something that as you continue to work towards even in that slow stagnant movement that you feel even if it's a little day by day it doesn't have to be big you know slow movement is still movement it doesn't have to be it, no one's wanting listen no one is expecting you to sprint to the the finish line quote unquote right these goals that we set for ourselves, sometimes we give ourselves these crazy time frames or these um, expectations that are just not realistic. And maybe that's what you kind of have yourself in. And I think spirit wants you to kind of slow down, enjoy. Like, I, okay, that's what I'm thinking. Like the journey is, oh my God, that's like cheesy as fuck, but like it, it's about the journey, right? Like take the time to enjoy what's around you right now as you continue to work on your goals because i feel like if you keep yourself in this stressed out um state of mind you're missing the things around you i mean i'm getting that that image of like take time to smell the roses right like and i know that that sounds mm, i want to say that it sounds really fucking like because some people are like really really busy and sometimes life is really hard and we just don't have Sometimes it can feel like we just don't have the time or energy to do that. But please, even if it's just five minutes, you will feel that it will help you. I promise you. I promise you. Just connecting a little bit with nature a couple minutes a day, it will help you truly. But let me see. I just want to do a couple more oracles. I only wanted to do a 30-minute video, but somehow we've gone again at, to an hour. My goodness. I just... There's a lot to say, apparently. <laughs> I want to do... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to do um, from Spirit another message from Spirit. Spirit self, be who you are as you are. Yeah, I mean, literally continue what you're doing in, 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 sen in the sense of connecting with um, yourself and your decisions. Woo! And trusting your decisions. Um as far as because I think that this is like you knew this decision you made there was a decision that you made that you did not want to make but you knew deep down that it was the right one and I feel like that's something that maybe you're struggling with or maybe even or even if it wasn't a decision if it was a life event that happened um, enough you were born enough I wonder if you were also dealing with like an abusive or toxic ex because or or like family member or someone in your energy who maybe you thought had good intentions for you but didn't I don't know because right here I'm seeing like um the be who you are and then you were born enough and this is making me feel like you were really I'm, I'm drawn back to the hermit again like maybe you were made to feel embarrassed about certain parts of yourself or maybe you were made to feel, um, I don't know, but I feel like maybe you were made to feel 
almost ashamed of like a growth here. Maybe there was something here. There was something here that shifted a dynamic in a relationship or shifted something. And as you stepped into your true power, again, because we're getting like, I, I'm telling you, you have like a very regal, you have a very, um, I don't want to say dominating, that's not the right word, but you have a presence that it, when you walk into a room, you command attention just simply by walking into the room. You don't have to, your energy is strong and powerful. Like that's the image I get, like very, you're very headstrong. And I feel like you also know yourself and maybe that might be intimidating for some people, but maybe there might be some insecurities that others have in, projected onto you because you intimidate them or you make them feel or you trigger some type of um, insecurity within themselves that they, they try to take or dim your own light. But I feel like spirit wants you to really step into your power because you are working towards something really big. Um, I feel like that's, that's kind of what it is. I mean, I wonder if this is like a new skill that you're working on too. Cause again, I'm drawn to guitar. You know what? Let's get, let's get a final message from, let's do some Archangel Michael cards. Archangel Michael, what does collective need to know for the next 30 days? Oh my lord. Prayer will help with this situation. And you had another card that flew out. Oh my god. A favorable outcome. Okay, yeah. So I think you in this state of loneliness right now, there needs to be some um, connection with nature, connection with spirit. There's a blockage here. Maybe you're just really on the go. There's a lot of busy energy, a lot of movement in terms of your focus. But as far as I'm getting like you're because I'm getting like fast paced energy, but maybe to you, you feel like there is literally no movement whatsoever. Like maybe you are completely you're not seeing how your guides are seeing you evolve like maybe you feel like you have not improved you haven't evolved like maybe you feel like there has not been any type of emotional um like you haven't there hasn't been any movement in this situation but or any growth or any development but i feel like spirit is telling you like you actually like you're you have you're doing it like you are actually there's so much that you don't see about yourself that you may have been, um, you may have been, uh, manipul uh, that's not the right word, you may have been uh, abused, right, you may have, there may have been a lot of, like, emotional or, like, verbal put-downs or, um, I don't know what this is, but I really don't like it. But I feel like may, like you're very hard on yourself, like to a point where like you're so self-critical that this, I feel like this was like a learned thing from someone that you respected and trusted and loved. And they maybe instilled their own insecurities, like they projected their own insecurities and shit onto you. And now it's something that you're trying to unlearn and you're stepping back into your power. And I feel like your guides are trying to tell you like there is growth, there's movement here, even though you don't feel like there is. Um, keep praying, keep doing your spells, your rituals, whatever it is. If you have time, like do some, again, like I said, do some like grounding work, do some connect with nature in a sense. Like this doesn't have to be, you know, a whole, I feel like people think like when they see prayer, sometimes um, if you live in like the U.S., sometimes it's like a gosh, I just think of, like, radical, like, Christianity, but, like, that's not, that's not, like, what I'm getting here. Oh, hello, little spider. I wonder if, if also spiders, if you don't like spiders, I'm sorry, I, I, I have a fear of spiders, too, but this is a little spider, but I think if, um, 
spiders might be something that you also see as well or if you see spiders in your home or you take spiders out I don't, you might be someone who doesn't even kill spiders you might just like try to like trap them and like release them out um i feel like there's because nature is really reaching out to you like there is a connection here with nature there's a connection here with mother earth there's a connection here like i'm getting green green aura green vibes like but there's a blockage there's like a there's some type of like energy around you that is not from you and i feel like spirit wants you to please cleanse like do a salt bath do some type of um some type of cleanse or something i don't know because it, prayer they had prayer you know do a ritual a spell um dear god archangel michael I ask for your divine intervention i welcome your help and trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace i need a miracle and ask that you send one to me in this situation quickly thank you amen Thank you for the beautiful outcome to the situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. Yeah, I mean, balance, there's some type of balance here. You need to find a balance. Um, and I think you are, there's a sense here that you really, <laughs> the bottom of it is like the situation's already resolved. Yeah. Your spirit guides want you to know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a path here for you. There's a new opportunity. There's a new opening for you where there's growth. There's abundance. There's life. Look look at this. There's, there's, it's a garden. It's beauty. Even though there's mountains in the back, there's, you've had struggles. You're working towards um, achieving stronger. You're working towards achieving bigger goals. But I feel like again there needs to be a balance like take the time for yourself to take the time to connect and ground yourself babe because i really feel like you're in a state of burnout and mental fatigue in a state of loneliness in a state of almost despair um, but you're really working towards finish like wrapping up this cycle you're really working towards um receiving the harvest right like you're working towards I think spirit really just wants you to focus on this project that you're working on or focus on this. I wonder if this is even just like, um, you know, we're going to do literally one more because I just want to clarify for this entire reading. I just want to do one card that spirit wants to leave us off with for this reading. And we're going to do the metaphysical deck because I absolutely like I'm in love with this deck. I love this Oracle deck. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. It's diverse. It's everything. Okay, let me, if I could shuffle. <laughs> you know, we're putting this one away because we're not trying to have this energy, okay? We're trying to have a Nine of Cups energy right here. And I don't want to be looking at the Ten of Swords because that's over. We're over with that. That's done with. That cycle is over. Ten. Bye. It's done. We're moving to the next chapter. So Spirit, what is it? One final message, one final message for Collective, since uh, we're gonna hit an hour again, it seems like, for this reading. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, freedom. Yes, yes, babe, yes. Okay, at the bottom, let go. Oh my gosh, I, I love this deck so much. I love this deck. Did I tell you how much I love this deck? <laughs> look how stunning the artwork is oh my god beautiful beautiful glowing glowing yeah you've let go of something you're moving towards this energy you may even like oh my gosh i'm getting just like you may be the person where you just like dance in your room and maybe you haven't done that you've been so burnt out you've been so exhausted that there's been a disconnect from your true self right there I feel like you're a person who will just like, if you, if you smoke, you know, I feel like you will just kind of like, I'm getting the image of just like kind of grooving out in front of like your altar, like playing some music in your room and just kind of like vibing, dude. Like that's kind of what I feel. And there's a freedom here. You are trying to break. Oh my gosh. Yes. You are like in this regal energy. You're breaking free from constrictive energies around you, from things that have held you back things that were tying you down and you're moving towards an enlightened state i mean you're, i feel like you're already in an enlightened state but you're moving towards 
I feel like this is your goal, right? This is something that you're working towards. This is a light shining down on you. Um, you're move I wonder if this is even financial freedom. This project you're working on. I feel like in overall sense, though, like you're, this is a lighter energy. You're moving into a, yeah, 111 again, 111. That 111 has to be significant for you. Or maybe this is something to also look out for or message. Um, focus on what you're feeling. If you do see like 111 on the clock or if you see 1111, um, try to focus on what it is that you were thinking in that moment because I feel like spirit is trying to connect with you through that. But you're working towards a very much uh, lighthearted, peaceful, a, a grounded energy. I wonder if you even need to smoke a little bit. Like <laughs> maybe even uh, like medicinal or maybe even take like um, medicinal herbs for like headaches or something like that. I don't know. But that's kind of what I'm getting here. That's, that's, we're going to cut this video off now because we're getting at like one, oh my gosh, one, one, one again. <laughs> yeah, we're cutting it here. We're going to cut it here. You know, I'm going to end it out at one, one, eleven. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Well, we're not going to do the one, eleven because I'm still talking. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day, rest of your evening. I hope this helped in some way and it wasn't totally just me rambling nonsense for an hour i mean if it was then you know cool just some fun times outside with the birds <laughs> but uh yeah i hope everything goes well for you and honestly i hope that there is healing in the situation for you babe because it's just not a fun state to be in when you're in that burnout phase or you're in a in that phase of like the end of a chapter right where everything just feels so like ugh, you can't move forward and there feels like there's no end or it's like god how much longer can i do this but like you're right there babe like you're literally there freedom is right there you're coming out of your hermit you're moving into a more light free type of i'm getting just again the image of like someone just like dancing right just living living in the moment that's what i'm getting here you're still working towards your goals you're still you're still being the badass that you are you're still living in your truth and your strength and your regal energy your leadership type of energy i feel like you're a leader dude in this leading energy but i feel like you're also balancing that masculine and feminine energy there's a a lightness here there's some maybe you're just learning to like be a little bit more free be a little bit more airy but you're let your spirit breathe that's kind of what i'm feeling um but okay <laughs> i hope you guys again i hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and may god bless you all i love you guys take care bye